Right, so the big news is AG2R are going to be called Decathlon AG2R next year. Everyone knew this, Van Rysel were going to be the bike sponsor, but I actually think this could be a bit of an upgrade. I think there's some interesting tech here and interesting parts on these bikes that actually makes me pretty excited. So here's the road bike and here is also the TT bike and we've got a selection of helmets as well. Uh, they've also announced their new signatures as well. So they've got Le Fay, um, Sam Bennett, Bruno Marai, who is really good, Drees de Bon, Stollard, and then Gianluca Polafilit, who I have not heard of before, but I, yeah, all the rest of them are pretty standard. Um, and also they've got their kit as well, which I think is pretty cool. It's quite textured as well, which is interesting. Um, and yeah, so all in all, pretty interesting. They're not going to have brown shorts anymore, but I thought I'm going to go through the bike tech uh, full time and, you know, properly and, and show you what I think about it. So this is a Van Rysel bike. It's been out for a while. I believe this is like the RCR or something. Anyway, whatever it's called, it doesn't really matter. UCI approved Swiss side wheels. Now I think that's huge. Swiss side wheels, they do a lot of aerodynamic testing. I think they got big brains. Uh, recently there was a cycling news article, DT Swiss, Swiss side wheels were very quick. So I actually think they, they are probably better than you think. They're very boring vanilla, but I do think they're probably quite quick. You can see integrated bar stem. I just kind of copied like the factor. You can see the, the sort of rear seat stay is pretty similar to the factor. It's a little bit like flatter, but again, pretty standard stuff. Uh, at the front, it's not super deep, but probably deeper than you would have got um, a couple years ago for sure, like without the relaxing three to one rules. You can't really see the handlebars, but they're just standard integrated bar and stem. Duras Di2, of course, uh, and yes, yeah, Swiss side wheels, which I think are, are not bad. Helmets um, look okay, but we're going to go on to the TT helmet, but kind of compare the geometry of the S-Works. Yeah, it looks pretty similar, doesn't it? Like, it's not it's not exactly the same, but drop seat stays, all the rest of it. Like, you know, there's not that many ways to make a bike within the UCI rules uh, if you don't want it to be mad heavy or mad light. If you want it just in between, this is basically what you come up with. So... Is it going to be much faster, much slower? I reckon there shouldn't be too much in it, especially with the Swiss side wheels. I think they will help quite a lot. Now I'm going to go on to the TT bike. Now, I actually think this is really interesting. Number one, I didn't think they would develop a TT bike. Like, obviously, this is not developed. Um, I can find this very Mono Express. Uh, I probably could have found it for you, but it's just, there's no point really finding it. Like, you could buy the same frame, not from Van Rysel. Um, You can see, like, compared to other TT frames, it's hard to say exactly, but it looks like the front of the Merida Warp um, and the rear... It kind of looks like a BMC, this, this cutout here. Drop seat stays, not crazy drop like the Colnago, but again, not insignificant. Again, Swiss side wheels, I think are really big. This wheel looks deep, maybe 80 at least. Um, bar and stem integrated, of course. Uh, and like, I think probably a one piece stem looks pretty nice. And these data bars, I think are not bad. They're not, you know, unbelievable. Juris di 2 of course. Uh, so yeah, I actually think this bike is pretty decent. I think... You know, how would it go against the Pinarello and the Yumbo lot? I don't know. It's probably not as quick as that. Is it worth, Is it a downgrade on the BMC? Yes, I, I think it probably is a downgrade on the BMC. Uh, so that is kind of bad. But then last year, they're on Campy Wheels, maybe not the best. Also, like, you know, I think that it probably is a downgrade going to Van Rysel. Is it that much? Maybe not. I do think Swiss Side is, an, uh, is like a positive for sure. Uh, I think the forks are good as well. And the other question is like, how much is there in frames? And I reckon there's not that much, but then at World Tour, not that much is still important. And I think you can't really put it past, especially on time trials, like 10 seconds over 40K, like that is more than bike. Bike could be 30 seconds over 10K really, sorry, 40K, which then is actually quite significant. So I do, I do think it's not ideal, but I do think it's also interesting in terms of the fact of like just, consumer brand will this tt bike be stocked in decathlon i probably not but this bike could be and it, i reckon it will be quite cheap i actually think it's good for consumers i think hopefully seeing pros ride it will make people buy it and this will reduce prices everywhere because people will be like oh well you know maybe i'll just go on the decathlon it's not that bad obviously they've got loads of shops like they've got a lot of uh it's i'm not sure it's bigger than other bike industries but obviously there's just a lot more kind of like general logistics that they'll have um at decathlon so i think it is really interesting like what they are doing by picking uh, the Van Rysel. I assume they've been paid a lot of money to do it, but nonetheless, kind of interesting. Now, the helmet is something that I think is also kind of interesting. Now, it looks very similar to a Met in some ways. Um, the back of it, it's got like a kind of exhaust or something. The, the tail, which is the same as the Met, you can see the shape is quite similar, but it also has, they only have this angle, but what I think is like a vent, like the pock temper. 
So I think it is a pretty interesting helmet. Whether it will be quicker or not, I'm not sure, but it's also maybe similar to the Giant Rivet as well, which people look, it looks stupid, but it must go quite quick because Jayco are quick on, the, on that setup. So again, the helmet, will you be able to buy this from Decathlon? I don't know, but I think it's interesting that like, they're obviously going to have to build high-end stuff for a World Tour team and that you might be able to buy it and it might really change, like, you know, there's just more options, which I always think is good. Uh, and maybe it will reduce the stigma on the whole Decathlon Van Rysel band, brand. Uh, but anyway, those are kind of my thoughts about uh, ag 2 r choosing Van Rysel slash Decathlon as their kit a manufacturer. Obviously, like, Rusty still do the actual kit, but, like, helmets and, and bikes and stuff. Uh, and I think it's probably an upgrade going Dura Ace, I think. It just is better than it can be. Probably less effort. Um, so yeah, Jura is good. Swiss side, good. Frames, to be decided. Probably not that that deep at the end of the day, but probably not uh, as good as having S-Works, for example. Anyway, let me know your thoughts below. Would you ever buy a Van Rysel? Do you think it's good um, that they're riding them? Uh, or do you think it's just a massive scam and they're not? They're just going to be ruined by being on a Van Rysel all year? Anyway, cheers for watching. Hope you enjoy. See you in the next one.